Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke and this is episode 11. We're going to be taking on a rival and that's probably all I'll be going with this to be a short episode. But uh, I haven't recorded because I just haven't been feeling like recording and I've been doing other stuff and stuff and other stuff and stuff and stuff. And this was originally going to go out on 1pm today of this upload day. But I recorded two times and both times the recording which rendered useless. OBS did not record the top screen, so I'm just I'm sorry if I sound ignored. I took a, like a four hours nap, I guess, but that's my sleeping for today because I have a messed up sleep schedule now. But we're adding Kenny on our team because Shiny Corsola commented down below saying we should use the Vaporeon when I asked what should we use, so I'm gonna add that. He might have said we could remove a Pokemon, but honestly, every time I end the recording, I'm so triggered that my recording was like. Pretty much useless. I've re I recorded for like 25 minutes. It's like completely useless. And of course, stuff happened in each of the recordings. I might go on to the about that if I can remember. I know only one, but and yeah. But let's just get into it. I originally had to run to Gordavard, so or go from God I had to run from Gordavard to Ecritique, because for some reason I was all the way in Gordavard, because I think that's why I got my Eevee, and I just didn't decide to go back. So I just ran here in the middle of recordings, quote quote, middle of the recordings. That's a coughing. There they are, look at them. So sprightless. Whoa, what's this? A fossil encounter? It's Zubat, that species. We do not get this. Is this species or dupes? I think it's dupes cross if it's the same like base Pokemon and species if it's in like the line or the evolutionary line. Spoilers, I don't know what voices I gave them, so that's great. My name is My name is Yusin. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. And you are Edge, glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is here, so I came to look take a look at the basement through the hole there in the floor. There, Suicune is down though. I could go downstairs, but I know I would run away in no time. I know. I have tried it many times. This guy sucks at the speed is sneaking. Concept, this is Oris, where you had to do like, you had like the desk nav, and they just appear on like the little grass thing, and you had to sneak up to them. And another voice I don't know how to do. Oh, it's you. You must be here to catch the legendary Pokemon to make yourself look strong. That is only a dream. You see, the legendary Pokemon serves a trainer who, has, like me, who has sworn to become the strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. Or well, I don't know. She said to fit me, pretty much. Now, my first recording, I did that perfectly. My second recording, I messed up three times. I said swoon and over swan. Like, wow, myself. And I messed up everything else. So let's just hope you. Let's just hope you. Yeah. Let's just hope that we can do this battle without any problems. I don't care how long this episode is. We're gonna battle. Oh, oh, I'm not into it. My first time I did this, this was his, he switched it out, and he used cost when it was his last Pokemon, and his health was in the red. He literally lost the battle because he just decided, nope, I'm out, goodbye. That was honestly hilarious. How much he kind of said I didn't get that. Myth does not get confused. You can't confuse the mythical Pokemon, but the mythical Pokemon will confuse you. You're off my screen, you terrible Pokemon. Okay, it guess it's not terrible. I'm sorry if I triggered anyone. I'm, I'm just, just, just going on. Oh wow. That didn't happen before. I remember switching out myth and I got only one. Maybe it used confusion on that Tom. I don't know. I want to use sleep powder, but I know flame rail or ember would do a lot, so. Did I not heal? I definitely healed. How did Brian get damaged? Yo, I don't know. Now, I feel like my throat's dying because every time I brush my teeth, for some reason my throat feels like it's like dying and I have nothing to drink and that's a that's a crit. Are you serious? What? What? Why? Game! Why are you doing this to me? 
Okay. Let me go on a rant now. When I originally battled him, this battle should have took like 10 minutes, you know, nothing that long. He used confusion and accuracy drops to annoy me. It went from like a 10 minute battle to a 20 minute battle. And guess what this battle is going to be doing again? A 20 minute battle. This is going to get crit just because he can. It didn't get crit. I'm just salty. I am more salty. We lost Terry. That's something I'm going to have to edit on the thumbnail. Do I even include Terry on the thumbnail? Okay, well, yeah, obviously include Terry. I'm not going to be that crazy. You know how hard it is to edit, like, Pokemon drops in my new editor I'm using? It's, like, next to impossible because I guess I could do secretness. Secret? Secretness? Wow. I'm sorry. I can sequence the all the images together because that's how I edit. And well, also we're just gonna use another sand tech. This is gonna get a crit just to kill Jesus. I didn't get a crit, but it was close enough. But to like edit a Pokemon drop, I have to literally change like every Pokemon before it and after it. No, I don't have to do it before. I just have to do it after to go forward. And that's annoying. In my old editor, I just right-clicked and added a transition. Which, I'm actually really considering um, somehow getting my editor, my old editor to work. I love my old editor, for Let's Plays at least. Like, I love Lightworks. Oh wait, do I die and I heal up? Because I knew it wouldn't kill. IQ high. I am not over here, like, thinking about what's going to happen. But, um, if all the light books is way better to do, like, layout changes than my new idol. Ooh, he switched. No! No! I have nothing for this! <sighs> Imagine the battle being one battle. Imagine a video being literally one battle. That's this video. I can't even poison battle. I have to literally razor leaf it. I swear, if you use Thunder Wave and Super Song, I didn't even know it had Thunder Wave. Because I ran out to Terry, so it couldn't Thunder Wave me. So I never noticed it had Thunder Wave. Are you serious? Quit it! Quit! Stop it! Why? Dude, he locked out one Pokemon. He's like, all giggly over there, like, ooh, I got to get the get 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 kill. You have nothing for my entire team now. Have fun. <laughs> Can I just break the? Thank you. Okay, we go out into Brian now, Brian. We go out to Jesus now. Oh, I'm about to grind. I was really hoping I didn't have to grind and my last three coins I didn't technically have to grind if I like my entire team uh, My last couple of recordings was so good. Okay, my first recording was epic. I love that recording I'd written to so much in, in so short time but I can do that now because okay, I thought he's gonna switch into the Magnemite Why didn't he switch into the Magnemite? Just put more salt on the room. You yeah, you better miss But, um, hmm, how do I say this? My last video, or my, my last video? My, no, my first recording in this series of events. I'll be back. And, well, my family came home, so. And I had my door open because I was like, oh, it's kind of hot now. A magical leaf? Yeah, magical leaf, definitely. More like, yes, leaf. <laughs> But um, I was going on about my schedule. I'm gonna wake up at nine and then upload and uh, record and upload between nine and one. And at one, I'm gonna hopefully have an upload um, ready and going on. And then between that, I'm gonna do maybe some streaming stuff on my second um, channel and everything. And then, well, I'm definitely gonna do that. I just don't know if I'm gonna do it every single day. And then I'm gonna do um, another video around seven. I'm on the sand attack just so he has a higher chance to miss. He probably search out into his core lava. Why did I do this? Actually, this was a bad idea. But I'm about to go out to our. Uh... Yeah, Bailey. Wow. I thought Bailey was strong. Also, I'm hoping there's no echo. I literally have nothing on my door. 
I use like a, like a sheet um, on my wall uh, on my door, which is right next to me, because it actually does reduce some echo, and I just don't want echo in my videos. I think I you guys might understand why. Like there's some really good echoes that sounds really good, but a closet echo just does not sound that great. He missed. This was worth it. Yeah, you keep on missing. You would not do that. That bad. Yeah, you miss. That's more like a 35% chance to hit. Or th yeah, 30% chance to hit. Instead of a 65% chance to hit. That actually did a decent amount. Magical Leaf was definitely the play. I was actually questioning um, getting rid of Magical Leaf in my... I think, I think first or second run. Because I was like, I don't know if... Bailey has higher attack or special attack. I know Magnanium has higher special attack, but is it by that much? And if we are an animate nature or an attack raising nature, is it that worth it? But yeah, today's episode should go out today. Um, because of everything that just happened, this might be a little bit harder to edit. Uh, not hard, it's not hard, it's just more little, it's tedious. And so I hope you guys can hear that. You guys definitely know that. I'm just crossing my leg over my other leg and I'm hitting my stand. I shouldn't do that, but I don't really care. I'm actually, like, really annoyed. Uh, but, um, editing rice, it's not hard. It is annoying. Until you go to the, like, a Pokemon Faints. Okay, I was like, oh, no, that's going to get a crit. Oh, I don't know if it got a crit. It be actually, no, just double the damage. <gasps> this is not your age six. I forgot about that. Dude, imagine how broken Christmas. Why do they not have that? They nerf Paralyzation, they nerf all the RNG. Why? They nerf Bond, they didn't nerf Toxic. Actually, they should nerf uh, regular Toxic. And Toxic, Toxic. Out of the disgrace, weak Pokemon sometimes do okay. Okay, I don't know. Can't stay in. There's only really one mom we can go out to, and that's the Sand Attacking Jesus. We might lose Jesus. I'm, son I'm sorry, Swift back now, but. I think it's back now. Maybe back now. Back now. Back now. Hmm. I'm gonna call you Swift. I'm gonna call you Swift. I'm, I'm sorry if that triggers you. Because I just can't pronounce. Please don't get. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got one sand. That might mean we don't lose the Nuzlocke. I've had a run where my sand attacks pretty much cost me the Nuzlocke. Like it. It's if you missed all the attacks, I would have won. If he didn't, I would have lost. And obviously, he obviously missed all his things, but it still was a tight chance for me not to lose the Nuzlocke. But while we're in this in this cycle, let me go on. Quick attack. Hmm, that's not gonna do a lot. Let me go on about a video I saw the other day about Shiny Corsola. Shiny Corsola is a commentator, regular on this channel, and I do watch his videos. Um, his Hot God Redlock. Spoilers, I still don't know what a redlock is. Uh, but I've been watching that. It's actually pretty entertaining. I really want to go back and watch all the old episodes. Uh, but I realize once I do that, I'm going to become, like, lazy to the stream. Like, when I get into a series I really like, and I go back to the backlog, it's like me doing nothing. Absolutely nothing, unless I have to. And since I don't have to record, since it's just a hobby, well... You guys can probably see what happens. Okay, that's not gonna do a lot. We haven't got pillized on Jesus. Jesus is actually a Jesus. But Shiny Colossal is not latest video probably by the time this goes up. But video the other day um, was about the tier list for starter Pokemon. So we got pillization as soon as I said that. And he's doing smoke screen stuff. Great. But it was a tier list for starter Pokemon and he rated I'm not gonna give any big spoilers, but he put grass Pokemon, the grass starters, up there. Don't you get it? I'm going easy on you? Please stop this. You are not going easy on me. But he put grass starters, which I hate most of the grass starters. Like, let me go through all the grass starters, and I'm including the final evolution lines in this. A Bulbasaur? I do not like Bulbasaur. I like Bulbasaur and just Bulbasaur. Venusaur and Ivysaur? I don't really like that much. Bayleaf? Oh. Chikorita? Chikorita and Bayleaf? Looks amazing. And then you get Magnanium. Don't like that line already. Trico. I actually don't like any of the Trico. I like Grovile, kind of. Okay. Um, actually, don't get a crit, please. Um, Tortvig line. I don't like Tortvig. 
Totrig. I don't like Grover. No, it's Grover. I think it's Grover. Wow, that's actually really similar names. But I do like Totera, so. Eh? And I don't mean I don't I like like it. I just think it's okay design. I don't really like. It's not a Pokemon I would put in my favorite Pokemon list. Then Generation 5 had Snivy. I actually really like Snivy's design and the entire line line. Like, like, I like the entire Generation 5 starters. Like, I actually do like them. I think Ember's design, it's kind of okay at best. But I think um, Pat's Kebig is okay at best. I do really like Tepic's design, but... Which I probably trigger a lot of people, because I know people hate the Generation 5 starters. Generation 6, I actually do like, um... Fennekin and Bratson, but Delphox looks like something that came out of... Uh, missed design. Just want to be honest. Uh, Froakie. Froakie has a great line. I actually really like Froakie's line. Oh, we defeated him. I thought he had a Magnemite left. Huh. I'm not fighting with another weakling ever again. It's just too much playing around. 14. Oh, wait. Oh, whatever. You will never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyways. Let's go see the Pokemon legend. Alan, do not call me. This... First time Joey called me, I believe. Yeah, I think it was Joey that called me. Riku, Entei, and Suicune. Look at them run. They really run. The speed stats are complete garbage. They are barely running faster than me. They just can go hop fast. Hop. They can hop onto objects. Yeah, there we go. Did you see it? Suicune raced like the blow right in front of my eyes. I've been chasing Suicune for almost 10 years, but I have never been this close. I'm all choked up. By the way, it is clear to me that Suicune took notice of your presence. A critique, legendary Pokemon are said to come to people only when they recognize their talents. Process should be more aggressive towards Suicune. Anyways, Edge, we will meet again. Okay, let me go on the Tellus. Okay, I already said I like the Generation 5. Tepic's line is kind of iffy, but I do kind of like the line. Um, well, I went back on that. Froakie's good design. Fennekin's I actually really like the first couple of designs, and then Delphots look like something that shouldn't exist. I like Chessman, and I like Chestnut. It's like the real, like, well, the middle evolution is actually, like, the worst, in my opinion. Actually, no, I actually wouldn't say that. I actually do like all the lines equally. Never mind. I was thinking it's... I... It's one of those Pokemon that's actually kind of forgettable for me. One of the starter Pokemon. The middle evolution of that is Quilladin, I think. And Quilladin doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look on par with the other evolutions... Or pre evolution. The other Pokemon in the line of evolution. Also, we can get an encounter, I forgot. Let's get an encounter before we end the episode. It's been 18 minutes. Give or take a couple of seconds, but. Our first encounter is. Avatar. Okay. It's a female Joey. Uh, female Joey. I was like, my first time I played this, I got a Avatar. My second time I got a coughing. We got Avatar this time. Let's uh, poison battle it. Suit. Um, so Jason six starters are okay. Um, are pretty good at least. Jason seven. What? What? I looked at my screen. And I saw my H. No! <gasps> I saw the suit. Oh, Sly! No! 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 We can't have this end like this. Last level, I'm sorry. I think I should end the episode here. I think I should. A uh, generation seven starters are okay. I actually really don't like any of them that much. I think Popolo looks okay, and then Evolution ruin it in my opinion. Um, Litten had potential, but then Incineroar happened. Uh, which I don't I think Incineroar is bad. I just don't. Really like I don't think it, I don't like the I like the design I don't like the design it's like kind of an issue. Uh, Valet I actually really don't like Valet as a base form, but when it starts to evolve, I actually really like it. I actually really like its uh, middle and final evolution. Generation eight, we don't actually know the entire line. At least at this time of recording, they might just come out with another video. It's like meet the middle evolution, meet the final evolutions, just because I we can to destroy the Edge. It's latest Nuzlocke video. But that doesn't matter, this is not reco news recording. Um, actually really, like, all of them just seems okay. I feel like I might, those startles are something I'm at to see the final evolution. It's kind of like generating, um, 
seven. Well, I saw all the evolu uh, all the Pokemon base forms. I was just like, none of these really strike me as a Pokemon I want to use. Like Fennekin didn't really do that to me, but Chessman did, and Froakie did. And then I saw the final evolution. I saw Greninja. And I was like, oh, Greninja, obviously. Um, but I would have to rate my list as an. I would probably rate. I'd actually probably rate them all in the same field, but if I had to rate them, I'd like actually rate them because I know that's not really a, an opinion. I'd put Salvo on top, and then it's kind of hard. I like Grookey and Skull Bunny. I think Skull Bunny is kind of generic, or like more generic than the others. So I'd put I'd put Grookey and then Skull Bunny, but I think all those are really great. Like in like the Generation Eight, I think they're all like pretty great. Not great, but like, okay. But you know, I mean like, in the Generation Stars, I think the O are the same. There we go. But let's end the episode here because I can't do this. There's already a save file. Whoa. Okay, but we're going to end this here before I die inside. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, you made it to the end. You can subscribe because you obviously love my content because you made it through the end. Uh, you can like the video because you did. Make it to the end. That means you probably like this video. Uh, well, comment down below what I actually should change on my team because actually look at my team. I have an empty slot again. Um, let me look at my team real quick. Um, but I think I might put the Growlithe on my team. I think Growlithe might be the best option because actually let's read the rest. Let's. Let's. It's actually pretty bad. Never mind. Uh, but look at our team. I think Growlithe, Growlithe or Drowsy. Oh, Stantla. I think Stantla might be a decent Pokemon to have on the team. It's pretty unique. I actually really like using unique Pokemon. I've already went through a ramp at that, but maybe Stantla. I'll let people comment down below. But yeah, um, I'll also be linking down in the description to probably the first link you see in the description. It would add my like thing. So CEO, CEO, Source Engine Optimization on the top and then link and then everything else that I have below that I don't think would fit in the top, but it would fit in the bottom. Shining the course list tillis will be right there. Go give it a watch. I really liked it. Um, I do actually agree with a lot of the choices. Other than the stuff I said that I dislike. And well, it's just opinion, so don't dislike the video if you're actually going for me. But thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.